Whoa! Where'd that make come from? Goose. Goose. Talk to me, Goose. I don't know what to do. You know what? Wait a second. This is a horrible outfit. Hello, folks. Let's see here. Get that back at a normal volume setting. A little bit more, actually. I actually put the microphone. Eh, that's fine. I'll angle it away. Oh, folks. You may not recognize me behind my most amazing costume here. But yeah. Ouch. This thing should be oiled. Let me take this off because it's no more COVID-19. Oh. Oh, wow. I look just as old as Tom Cruise now. So that's pretty cool. Get my little my secondary motorcycle helmet there. Almost makes me look like a flight aviator. In fact, I know it will make me look like a flight aviator. Oh, yeah. Now I'm cool. In fact, I think I'll do most of the show with this, even though you can see where the kind of helmet presses. But that's okay. For I'm the one, the only, Hobo Tom. And you know what I did? Um, I skipped NXT, mainly because nothing was happening. Uh, they did have the women's breakout tournament. I don't know. Nothing great happened. But you know what? Instead of that, I figured, I need a break from wrestling. I've been watching wrestling. And I still have to make one big wrestling video to make today anyway. So I figured I'd take a little tranquilo, lay low, and I went to the movies. Yes, that's right. Just like the thumbnail shows. I went and saw Top Gun Maverick. Mainly because a bunch of people recommended that I go see it. And they said, oh yeah, it was a good movie. That's right. It was kind of a good movie. I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, not to give away any spoilers... A little bit of the way the of one my movie experience went and here's my ticket I was smart enough to go to the Tuesday special showing and in the right theater you know what I didn't realize different theaters charge different like stuff charges different money I went to I guess like the basic theater package even though they have pretty cool seats um, I'm not a big fan of those lounging chairs. I know once I took a friend there and she honestly fell asleep in the chair. No bueno. Um, then you can bring like piles of food. One guy I saw had a whole like ice thing with champagne in it. Who drinks, who has the money to bring champagne, to buy a bottle of champagne and the ice bucket and bring it to the movie theater. That just blew my mind. And honestly, still blows my mind that people can order a whole pizza and bring it to the movie theater. I'm used to popcorn. I snuck in a bag of gumdrops. Or spice drops, or whatever they call them nowadays. But yeah. Um, overall, it's a good movie. The, the CMX Theater is a pretty good theater. Super comfy. Super expensive. Except for Tuesdays. But this was my seven dollar ticket, or yeah, um, six ninety nine. It cost me. I think you can see there. It was seven forty four after taxes. Uh, you can go to the Atmos Theater. I don't know what the difference is. That's like an extra two bucks. I just got. I just said I just want a movie seat. I don't really care. Then they have the three D version of it, which in this might have been kind of cool, but even then, that still would have been. I think another three dollars so now you're talking about ten dollars plus t yeah ten dollars give or take tax then if you want the whole moving chair and the whole 40 experience it's like it's still like 12 bucks and normally that whole moving chair experience that's like 16 dollars that's expensive i just want to go see a movie and be entertained and take a day out from wrestling which is honestly what I did. Um, I'm also scoring right now, so if I look distracted for this one paper, it's because I just have to keep up kind of my averages. So I don't see anything there. But yeah, I still have like four, I still have some time. 
I do wish I I should have a lot of time. Yeah, I got plenty of time to score. Um, so first I'll talk about my movie experience, what happened during the movie, and then my general thoughts about it. And then I'll give it a reading. Again, the movie theater experience was really good. I think the one problem, I had that one jackass that wanted to just, like, add his own side commentary throughout the film. I got annoying until the one woman yelled at him and said, shut up. So I applaud her. And again, it always tends to be the black people that do that. That sounds racist, but it's the truth. You can't deny the truth. Um, the movie didn't seem long after you crashed. I looked at my watch. I think they had like 15 minutes left. So at least it's not one of those things like, oh, geez. You're not, you're not staring at your watch every like freaking 10 minutes saying, like Lincoln saying, when the hell is this movie over? Um, actually, I think the first time I looked at my watch, I'm like, yeah, they're getting close to the end. I looked at my watch and like two minutes later, it kind of ended. So I cannot fault them. It was kind of the right amount of action. Uh, again, a comf comfy theater. I had on t-shirt, shorts, and just shoes and I was comfy. I know some people brought like blankets. They do keep those theaters excessively cold. My one friend was, like, freezing, but I don't know. Whatever. So, yeah, that's the overall movie experience. A little bit of the synopsis of Top Gun Maverick. Uh, opening scene. We do see the original Suzuki, but then he upgraded his Suzuki. Did not see that happening. Um, starts off, he's a, he's, a, he's a test pilot. Takes his plane past Mach 10 hypersonic. I don't know if that's a thing. I know there's a thing called scramjet, so that was pretty cool to see that. Um, then he gets demoted, he becomes an instructor for the Top Gun, because they have to go on, like, a secret mission. I, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll save that for, I want to take my glasses off and, and, and talk about my thoughts in the movie. So, he becomes an instructor, he leads a team, you have, of course, the crisis of confidence when, uh, Iceman dies. Spoilers! Iceman dies! I like cancer, of all things. He becomes an admiral. He dies of like like some cancer. Um, he has a crisis of confidence, and then he decides, you know what? I have to do my own course. Completes it under the time allotted. Leads the mission. Completes the mission. Gets shot down. Gets rescued. And then there's a nice aircraft carrier scene at the very end where everyone kind of hugs and stuff. So, and then there was a little afterwards. Where he and his love entrance, Penny? I don't remember her from the original Top Gun. Uh, get together and... Yeah. Uh, there was the one cool scene where he was asked to leave via the window. <laughs> he got caught. And then the daughter was still there saying, Just don't break her heart. Um, that's really the movie in, in the nutshell. Amazing airplane stuff. Now, I'm going to take off these. Oh, there we go. Whoa. It's a little bit... Brighter here than I expected. My thoughts on the movie. Um, it was. Everyone says how good it was. Honestly, I thought it was just a little bit above okay. The reason why I say that mainly is because I remember seeing the first Top Gun, and that was absolutely amazing. Um, kind of groundbreaking, I think, for its time. Well, at least I'm balancing stuff out there. That's always good to see. But, I don't know. The, it might be me being old man and saying, I remember the original Top Gun, how cool that was. The original Top Gun came out Everyone wanted to be a naval aviator. This not so much. I do appreciate they had the cool uh, mechanics. They had all the different colors on the aircraft carrier. They didn't show the grapes though. Grapes are important because because they're the uh, fuel people. I know white. I think is the air boss. Yellows is called the shooter. He's the guy that says go. Um. I think White's Air Boss. Again, if you're in the air, if you're in, if you're in the Navy, let me know. 
Purple, I know, is fuel. They're the grapes. Red is the ordnance people. They're the ones that put the missiles and all the other things that go boom on the aircraft. I want to say, quote me if I'm wrong, green, I think, is maintenance. I know there's one... For, I know there's a color for safety. Yellow is like deck people. They're like com very commonly the shooter. You see the one guy who goes, Ooh. and they do it very colorfully depending on how bored I guess they are. Uh, what else? I think white is the air boss. Who kind of like con is like the controller, but but I think I think they're also in charge of like dignitaries and like important people coming on airplanes and stuff like that. I know there's a few other colors. I honestly forget what they are, though. Again, I think green's, like, maintenance. Don't quote me on that, though. Yeah, there's, like, a whole bunch of videos you can find. And who knows, I might... I don't know. Nah. That takes too much time. I was going to put links in the description, but... Yeah, that would be... That's too much time. Um, so my thoughts on the movie, again... I do appreciate those scenes. It, it just... I don't know. It seemed to be lacking something. And it might have been the soundtrack. Again, you hear that... You heard that. You heard a little bit of... Highway to the Danger Zone. Classic Kenny Loggins. Um... They did play Great Balls of Fire a little bit when he got kicked out of the bar. They didn't play, like, they had, they, they should have played the Righteous Brothers. You've lost that loving feeling. Oh, that loving feeling. You've lost that loving feeling. Now it's gone, gone. Gone. Oh. Um, yeah, so there was, you lost that love and feeling. And they also didn't have tape during the one scene. And I think, I think Lady Gaga did like a remix of Danger Zone too. That didn't sound quite Kenny Loggins dish. So I'm very disappointed at. Um they didn't have um take my breath away. Listen, if you're a guy and you had a girl back in the eighties, that was the song to charm her with. And then in the nineties it became Chris Isaac's um In fact I should do that later. Yeah. So the the, the soundtrack I think they did play a little bit of Thunderstruck, like they did through the, through the commercials. It wasn't that prominent, though. I mean, Danger Zone was so iconic. That, I mean, I still remember, I mean, Iceman died. Everyone kind of, they killed off everyone, and, and or just in the show. Warlock was there. He was in the original, he was in the original, I think. He was Maverick's backup. He was on uh, Maverick's second, the, the radar guy. After Goose died. And Goose is dead. Goose's wife's dead. They didn't show Cougar. They didn't show Merlin. So yeah. It was kind of depressing when, when Ice died. It's like, wait, you can't die like that. That's, that's lousy. And again, it does add into the crisis of confidence part. But still. Um, a lot of backstory. I don't know who Penny was. Penny was like the love interest. Obviously not who it was because she was much more brunette. And the other one was bright blonde. Although it was the same house. If you look at the door. Wait a second. It was the same house. It still had the fancy stained glass window in that little community. It was just weird. I don't know. Again, the sequence was good. The cast of characters... Yeah. Okay, with the one guy's call sign was Bob. And actually, 
I think he was called Bob because his helmet honestly reminded me of this Bob. So yeah, I don't know what what that was. Again, that's what it reminded me of when I went home and thought about like Bob. Who has a call sign Bob? And I'm like, wait a second. I remember the way that helmet looked. Oh, here's a Bob. Again, I'm old. I show my age in movies. Overall, though, I mean, it was okay. It was okay. It wasn't all the hype that you expected it to be. And the airplane sequences were amazing. They did that one, like, freaking stalling flippy U-turn thing. On, like a zero turn radius. That was pretty cool. It's like, whoa. I didn't, and like, even Tom Cruise is like, I didn't know they could do that. I don't know if that's a real thing or not. Uh, you did see that iconic F-14 Tomcat. Um, I didn't realize F-18s were one or two seaters. I know all the F-14s were two seaters. I guess nowadays, I don't know. I don't keep up with stuff, but. I mean, you just know the F-14 was like, it's also the plane you can play tennis on top of. So, I don't know. Overall, what would I give this movie? Maybe it's because I'm just waxed and nostalgic, and I remember the or I'm, the emotions ran so high for the original. This kind of brought it down a little bit. This is just like the old man of the matinee movie. And the reason why I say that, like, again, I only paid the seven forty four for it. That's about the right price. If I, I, I'd see it for free, and if I had the time, yeah, that's a whole other issue. I'd, I'd see a lot of movies for free. If I had to pay, I think they charge $11 for a normal movie. If I had to pay the normal $11 say twelve dollars I think last when I saw the one it came out to like twelve like eleven ninety nine whatever it was eleven twelve dollars nah I'm not watching it not worth it if I had to bring if I had to pay for myself in a date nah because then that's that bumps up to twenty four dollars and then if I had to pay for the movie my ticket, date's ticket, and dinner. I better be getting a happy ending as a thank you when we get home. But yeah, like definitely, because then you're talking, say, 20 bucks for dinner. I'm talking about like 45 to $50 for a movie, and, for a date night movie, with, for dinner and a movie. Something magical better be happening afterwards. Because if not, someone's doing the, the the drive of shame. But yeah, I mean, that was, those were my thoughts about Top Gun Maverick. I was kind of, I'm like, yeah, it was a good movie. Better than pro wrestling. But I mean, if I had to, if I had to shell out any significant amount of, of money for it, Set, like ten bucks isn't bad. It just means I don't. I don't know. I can still do. I can still do a lot, and spend like seven bucks. It means I don't get breakfast. It means honestly, I don't get breakfast at Wawa, and I can live with that because well, I have my Burger King. I went to breakfast at Burger King. It's a lot cheaper anyway. But yeah. Other than that, I don't know what you guys say out there in the YouTube universe. Um, so this video is going to be going up soon. Look for another video from me sometime, maybe tomorrow. All depends on work. If I get really bored at work, I'll start making more videos because it's just kind of quasi-mindless stuff that I'm doing right now. So, but other than that, I would like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I know I'll be doing a live stream of AEW tonight. And then eventually I'm going to set up my, my triple thread of Raws.